As a child, the first New York musical Montego Glover ever saw was inside the famed Schubert Theater. One day, her own image would drape the Schubert facade as the lead actress in the Tony Award-winning musical Memphis. Born in Macon, Georgia and raised in Chattanooga, Glover's rise to stardom is the product of raw talent, hard work, and the legacy of the FSU School of Theater. After making her Broadway debut in The Color Purple, Glover originated the role of Felicia in Memphis, for which she won a pair of Critics Awards and a Tony nomination for Lead Actress in a Musical. Most recently, she starred as Fantine in the Broadway reprisal of Les Miserables. Glover's powerful voice has landed her a list of credits around the world as a guest artist, with the New York Pops, Carnegie Hall, and Lincoln Center. She also performed for the President and First Lady at a July 4th special from Ford's Theater. Behind that powerful voice is the star power of a potent talent for acting, and Glover has been seen in television roles from The Good Wife to Law and Order. Montego Glover has proven the old adage about New York, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Today, she's made it as a Florida State University grad made good. Oh my gosh, first let me say, I am beyond thrilled to be here this morning. It's, it's so rare that with my kind of schedule and my line of work, frankly, I have time to pull away and just see warm, supportive, receptive faces and get to step back onto campus and feel the garnet and gold. It seems like forever, and I'm so thrilled to be here this morning. I'm so grateful and so honored. I have to tell you what seems like a hundred years ago, as I am only 16, um, <laughs> What seems like a hundred years ago, um, I left my glorious hometown in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and came to FSU to visit campus to see if it was the right fit for me. And I have to agree with President Thrasher. I stepped on and thought, this is one of the most beautiful spaces. It seems warm and, and receptive and welcoming to me. And I toured the Fine Arts Building as I was going to study acting and dance and music. And I walked into the hallowed halls of the main stage at FAB and thought, this is exactly where I belong. And there were other schools on my list that I visited, and I stepped into those places and thought, mm, not so much. Uh, but I stepped in here at Florida State, and it felt like the right fit from the beginning. I have to tell you, one of the things I've always wanted to have in my life is balance, is balance. And I've said so many times in so many interviews and in so many different outlets um, that I'm so grateful to Florida State for the sense of balance that I received. It was a full college experience with a conservatory education. And in my line of work, it is extraordinarily competitive. Um, and I felt like I left this university as a whole, young, vital being able to be a good citizen, a good daughter, a good person, a good member of my community, both as an artist and in the larger world. And I'm so grateful to FSU for that. It really is a place to find balance and to find a home. And I have to tell you, as you go away from now what is home, FSU, as I go out into the world, it feels, oh, what is the word? I feel like I am moored to a place in the right way with the kind of support and visibility that you receive from the Alumni Association and the people who run it, the people who support and love and reach, even from great distances. New York City is not close to Tallahassee. Um, <laughs> And I feel that love. When I arrived in New York City, a city of 8, 12 million people, and I'm one tiny little girl, I had oceans of Florida State alum who were there with open arms saying, come, come, come. You are welcome here. You are supported here. So I, I thank the university. I thank everyone involved with this award and with the work that you do every day, year in and year out, semester in, semester out, to give your students that feeling of support and that feeling of being seen and moored to a place that is garnet and gold. My grandmother said to me, God rest her, you know, when you can look around a room and you enjoy, you love, you like every face you see, you can say to yourself, you are in fine company. 
and I have to tell you all, I look around this room this morning, I look around this campus as I come in this weekend and meet and see so many wonderful people, and I say to myself, oh, Montego, you are in fine company. Thank you. <laughs>